Hi there, this is Amanda. I want to just give a little um, special note that I uh, now have braces due to an accident I had in December where my teeth were broken and moved around um, from a fall and so now I've got braces. So not only do I have um, broken teeth up front which gives me a list but now I've got braces so I kind of sound funny but I wanted to um, talk in this video because there's just so much to it. There's so much content and um, I didn't think a silent video would be the thing. All right, so we're talking about managing wedding pictures in the library. And wedding shoots are unique in that there is a, an extreme volume of pictures. This was actually a short wedding. I didn't have a second shooter, you know, nobody helping me with that. And um, so I, ha I imported probably about 1,100 pictures um, total. And um, I imported them the way it did, showed in that first post, giving them a keyword of Dickert Wedding, and because I can't remember the groom's last name. So um, I knew she was a Dickert and um, forgot the grooms. Anyway, so here, here that is, and what you're going to do to isolate those pictures once you've imported them and you have given them that keyword during import is click. You can't click on the, the that's not going to bring them up. you got to click on the arrow. That's what's going to bring them all up. All right, now I already had them brought up, but this is showing all of them. And um, I'll just close this down here, up here a little bit more. So we're seeing all of the pictures with the keyword of Dickert, all right? And you can see there's a lot, a lot, a lot of them, 871. So I'm just gonna go up to the top here. And once you start, once you've imported them, what you wanna do is do a quick Cull, C-U-L-L, -L. we're going to get rid of the bad ones. And the way we can do that is by the pick or reject system. But everybody's got their own systems. Remember, this is just my system. And this might, you know, you might try this out and then it might move you on to something else, another system, but it'll, it'll get you using some system so you can kind of figure out what works for you. And before I start doing the flagging, I'm going to come up to photo and turn on auto advance, which is already on. Here it's going to be off, so now I'm going to go to photo and turn it on. So once you have a check mark beside it, it's it's on. And you're going to know it's on because what happens, actually I had my son with me, but he, he said he was going to help me shoot, but he did not. He actually took, I don't know, 30 pictures. <laughs> but um, that's my second son, Daniel. And uh, what we're going to do is do pit, uh, to pick it, to give it a white flag, we're going to do P on the keyboard. And if it's a reject, then we're going to hit X. Okay, so I'm just going to go P, so I pick. Oh, definitely want that one. All right. And I might say, um, no, I don't want that one. You know, it's cutting off her dress. I might say X. All right. And then pick. You can see which ones I've edited, right? Because <laughs> this is a wedding that was done last year. And I might say X, and then we'll go through and pick. Okay. So we can go through that. There's a lot of, you know, very similar ones. And, and you, usually what I do is I don't really get rid of the similar ones. I get rid of the ones that are out of focus, blurry, um, you know, just, uh, or if I have like five of them, then I will get rid of duplicates, you know, a few duplicates. But usually I leave one or two um, that even are very close. So I go through that system. I'll go through the, all of them. But once you get going that X and P, you can get through uh, a thousand pictures in, in, you know, five, eight, ten minutes, depends on how much you're really looking at the pictures, all right, how close you are. So once you've done that, I'm going to go back to the grid view, and I've only done a few. See, we see the white flag, and we see the black flags. And once I've gone through and I've, I've flagged all of them with either a white or a black, then I'm going to isolate them, and you can do that very easily. There's a lot of different ways to isolate, but this is the easiest. Edit, select by flag, rejected. So now it's going to highlight the ones that are rejected. And you see it's only highlighting those two. And then I, you hit delete, but it's going to ask you, do you just want to remove it from your catalog? Meaning it'll stay on your hard drive, but Lightroom will no longer know that they exist. Or do you want to delete them from the disk? If you choose that, they're going to leave Lightroom and they're going to leave your hard drive. They'll be gone. So I tend not to do that. Well, with the out of focus ones, and like I said, at first I'm really just deleting those that are really out of focus. Um, things that cannot be fixed, you know, or composition is so bad, you know, I've got a car in the background or something, you know, um, 
but I tend to just remove them to Lightroom if it's a duplicate, but if it's so far gone bad, like, you know, just blurry, then I delete from the disk. I'm never going to want it, right? So just you just decide what you're comfortable with. I'm going to hit cancel. So that's how I go through, and then I'm left with all the good ones, right? All things I can work with. And you can see here, we, um, actually I must have a few extra, because 871 to 869, so I've got, you know, two pictures there that aren't um, in this catalog, or this collection, sorry. All right, so this is all of the, um, what, this is the, would have been the collection that I made, right? All photos, Dickert Wedding, all photos. And then I made a set. And this is the collections panel over here. And with the collections, remember collections hold pictures, but sets hold collections. They don't hold the pictures. And you can make a set by clicking the plus sign, and we can do create a collection set. And I might say Dickert Wedding 2. And then where do I want it to go? So normally I would go like pad and you know um, pageant photography is where I would put it under or actually weddings you know if I have one for weddings uh, yeah weddings and receptions that's where I put it and then I could create one all right now I've already already have the set though see that set if I close it up and I'm open back up so you see the set holds all these collections and then I make collections by like the timing so getting ready all right reception um, ceremony, and you know, I don't, there's nothing consistent, ceremony, Dickert, Dickert getting ready, um, extras, Dickert, Dickert to export, you know, so just whatever, because they're all in the same set, there's not that many of them, I don't, I don't do anything consistent there, um, so I go through, and I do, so that when I'm editing them, they're, I'm editing everything in a flow, right, so all the reception, all the getting ready, um, all the little extras, the family formals, that kind of thing, so, so that my mind is in that that you know frame of reference and often you know that white balance is going to be the same the exposure often is going to be the same that kind of thing so it's easier to kind of get into a move and to be able to sync so if i could fix the white balance in one i can you know sync it to all the others that kind of thing and then i even make one for the preview gallery because when i do weddings then um, i let them know that within two weeks two to three weeks there's going to be a preview gallery for them and it's not going to be all their pictures it's just going to be a fun like little highlight reel of pictures for them and so I and I'll go through and use a system usually of stars so you see the stars writing right here and I will isolate um, those now <clears throat> let's just say the stars are the ones that are going to go in the preview gallery but they're not that's not why the stars are there and I'll go through several like I will create lots of ratings and then I will get rid of the ratings and then do new ratings because that's how I'm isolating my pictures um, all right, so going back to the collections, there are lots of blog posts about collections, and I've shown them in webinars, but I'll show you really quick how you would add pictures to a collection. So I'm going to create another collection under here, and I'm going to do um, family portraits, maybe, something like that. All right, and I'm not going to include any selected photos. All right, so I've made family portraits here, and there's no pictures in it, all right? Come back to Dickert Wedding, and I would have isolated those family, those family port formals. And I've already done it, so I'm gonna be cheat here. So if I have, I've isolated them. I've you know I've gotten isolated. And usually, like I said, you can do it because it's, it's one after the other. You're not doing family formals and then going into the reception and going to do this. Usually, it's all you know, you're doing it once and for all. And so I'm gonna highlight just a few here. Highlighted them, and then you click in the thumbnail and drag. So here I've added 28 to the family portraits collection. And so that's how you do it. And you can see I've gone through and I've isolated. So here's like all little special things about the wedding, all the little wedding extras that brides love to remember. You know, don't just take pictures of people. Take pictures of all the things they put into their wedding. The, um, you know, the table, the centerpieces for the table, all the little, you know, uh, the gift area, um, just just all little things that they have done to make their wedding special, photograph it for them so that they can remember 20 years from now what all this looked like. So do that. So that's wedding extras. You'll see um, reception. So I have it all isolated out so that I can edit that way. Okay, so we talked about keywords, flagging to call. 
collection sets and collections. I know this is kind of fast. And then I go through a rating system as to the ones that are actually going to be edited. Because I'm not going to edit all of them. And you can see it's probably the, the far stars that I have, have done here. And there's collections that I've gotten rid of. And I will usually, so I'll have, here's the reception, right? And I go through and I rate them. And then I'll make another collection. So I'll isolate, so edit, uh, select by rating, five stars. Okay, so it selected all the five stars in this collection. And then I'm going to make another collection here. And I'll do reception, five stars. Because I'm not going to edit all the pictures. There's 880 or 69 pictures. I'm not going to edit them all. I only want to edit the ones that I feel like are the best, right? And so here, oh, I did five starts. Oh, I forgot to do the, um, I forgot to select, include selected photos. So I'm going to drag them over there. And I misspelled it here. I'll rename it. Five stars. Okay. So these are the ones that I would edit. And these are the ones from the reception that, and actually uh, the reason I think the five stars here are the ones that, um, yeah, no, these are the ones I would have edited. Anyway, I forget, this is a year ago. Um, all right. Another point here is there's 869 pictures that I deemed worthy of saving from all the pictures I took. But only 372 am I giving to her on her draw on her um, desk. Actually, I didn't do a desk. What did I do? I did thumb drives. Is that what I did? I can't remember now. So um, 869 total that were kept. Only 372 that went to the bride. Only 82 that were put up to the preview gallery. And honestly, I only promised them 50. I gave her 82. Uh, so, but anyway, but the the rating system does help me. But you see here, because I'm telling you, the, I don't know why, the, I can't remember. So this doesn't have five stars, but this does. But the, it was if it's in this Dicker to export, I edited it. You know, that, I'm not going to give her pictures that weren't edited. And so I can't remember. Maybe the five stars for the preview gallery. I bet that's what it is. Yeah, there we go. So that's how I had selected it that time. But I told you, I'd, I'll go through and I'll rate. And then once I've made that collection, I will... Um, so we can go through if I select them all, and then we can set the um, the start the rating to to nothing. Let's see. All right. So I quickly just hit zero on my keyboard. Did you see that? See all the ratings went away. But if I hit five back, they're all going to be applied. And you can select all at once easily by doing Command A or Control A. This is like a little wedding workshop, isn't it? Um, so that's why the ratings were here, but I'll go through several times and, and get rid of ratings so that I can then make another collection and then go through like that. Okay, so I think that's everything. So make sure you have your keyword and import. If you didn't do that, you can do it. You can sort by the date, all right? So if you come in, you can go to your catalog and then sort. I've got 38,000 in my catalog here, but we can sort um, by attribute, no, I'm sorry, metadata. And if you can't remember, you know, if you didn't tag them, but you know the date of, you know, the pictures that were taken, and I can't even remember what the date is for this one. Um, nobody's going to tell me, I bet. Let's see. No, it was in October, I think. No, it wasn't. I'll pull this down. Oh, but it's not in 2008. It's in 2000. They're all open. That's what confused me. It was in 2016. I thought it was. Oh, must have been September. Okay. I don't know when it was. Or maybe, maybe the date wasn't set on these. It's not that. See, I'm terrible. I don't even know when the date was. Um. But you can isolate it by the date, if you know the date, and um, and then add the keyword to all of them, all right? So add the keyword to it, and then isolate them. Make your collections, your collection sets. And what's lovely about the collection sets, before I go, is that, so when I come to the, you know, ceremony, and I go to edit over here, that's all that's in my film strip. 
That's all I'm seeing in the film strip is the ceremony. All right, that's all I'm seeing there. And I, and I just like to think that way. Like I said, this was all outdoors. And I was really, because I had all of a sudden full sun, all of a sudden clouds. It was very challenging. <laughs> it was very, very challenging because it was like at 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, something like that. Um, anyway, so that's that's why it's handy to have those collections a little bit isolated so you're not looking at 500 pictures at once. Um, and it just helps you get into that, that swing of things. So it's just kind of what works for me. Um, I'll show you something funny before I go. So Simpson was a a, a beach wedding kind of, um, and um, you can see it's it's uh, abbreviated here, right? But I actually edited those photos on a different computer, and when I imported over for some reason, these pictures didn't come with it. But I had already had the pictures. Long story. I have the pictures. It's just they didn't, for some reason, it kept both and it didn't pull in with these. So anyway, um, but you can see how I, I did it. So we've got, this one has an album. And behind the scenes, bridal party, bridal portraits, ceremony, um, just the two of them, extras, family, leaving, the photo booth, reception, gallery pics, and that's the wedding. That would be all of the pictures. Simpson wedding was all of them. I just didn't put all pics. So um, it's a system that has worked well for me. I, again, it may not work well for you, but it'll give you a jumping off point where if, it, if you're shooting a wedding for the first time, it might help you just, you know, give you something to help manage it, the bulk, and then the next time you do it, you might do something different or refine it even further for yourselves. Um, the next post I do will be about editing, how to handle editing all these pictures, right? And, well, actually, that'll be a two-part series as well. So if you've made it to the end of this, God bless. <laughs> you've been very patient. I hope it was worthwhile. And I hope you have a great day.